developing right now a possible break this morning in a series of carjackings and armed robberies. Chicago police say two people are in custody. Let's get right to CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli, who's live in the Goose Island neighborhood. Mike, hello. Hi, and that last carjacking happened late last night right here on Racine Avenue. And police say charges may be announced a bit later on today in that case. Robbery just occurred at 814 North Racine. The Hispanic caller said he was just robbed at gunpoint. It started with the carjacking at Racine and Chicago Avenue. Police responded and spoke with victims in the Goose Island area. Then other officers already on alert could be heard on the police radio talking about Chicago's rash of carjackings. Yesterday we had uh, four jackings and six armed robberies. Looks like the same crew back tonight. Then a break when the stolen Jeep was spotted by officers who gave chase. Headed to the Eisenhower westbound. The suspects weren't on the Ike for long before they crashed into another vehicle and then into a wall. Police say the two then bailed out of the Jeep and ran across multiple lanes of traffic, a grass and foliage covered median, and the electrified CTA tracks. Eventually, the suspects made it up onto the streets of Oak Park with multiple officers joining in the manhunt. Here's how it sounded as officers zeroed in on one suspect. Then, less than 20 minutes after the chase began, an extended clip weapon had been recovered and the two suspects were in cuffs. To confirm, we do have two in custody and they were the only two that were in the vehicle. Last night's armed carjacking was one of at least six that happened in the city yesterday. While it's not known whether those arrested last night are connected to the other carjackings, community activist Andrew Holmes says one thing seems clear. They're going to do what they do to get some money. And it's just as simple as that. Bad choice, wrong decision. Now, we reached out to the victim of the carjacking. He didn't want to talk on camera right now. He's actually on his way to the police department to try and retrieve some of his belongings from his stolen vehicle. As for the two people that are currently in custody, now police are saying that they do believe they are related to some of the other carjackings. Reporting live at Chicago and Racine, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Back to you. Okay, Mike.